answering your phone. Is he? No, not yet. He's holding on. He wants to speak to you. So you can have a final word on what a disappointment I am. Well, I'm not ready for it. Isaac, you don't have time to get ready. You really don't. You don't know what he's like. I'll be in there with you. With me. What do you want from all this? I want for your father to be able to die with dignity. And he's not going to do that. He's going to drag it out and hold on until he gets the chance to speak to you. I don't believe you. There's more to it. Just come with me, please. My father, your great-grandfather, taught me how to make these. I haven't made one for ages. No. Have you been feeling ill for a little while now? How long have you been feeling ill for, do you think? Was it your mother who pointed out that you'd been ill? How's your mother been? Does she get upset with you sometimes? Or, you know, when you want to stay up past your bedtime or you don't want to eat your food? Or... She cries. She cries? Oh, you found my heart. Well done. Pop it in here. Just in there. That's right. Those vessels connect at the top there. Let me help you. Uh, that's it, and I'll put the lung back. And then you'll feel much better. So, do you remember waking up and being sick? No. So, did your mother tell you that you'd been ill? Okay. So, did you feel ill before she told you that you were? No. His wishes. No. Look, I've got other patients. He's dying, Don. Hi, Fred. Yeah, I'm here. Huh? Can't lord it over me from your deathbed, can you? safe hands with you, won't he? I might ask Mr. Crowhurst if he's about to say Very good. Oh, yes, um, so you probably won't be needing this flapjack at that point. Actually, I think I will. Thank you. You keep him going. He's gone. I'm sorry. 
You're supposed to be helping him. I only came to you because I trusted you. And I tried to give him the chance that he asked me for. And I wasted that chance. Is that what you're saying? No. Come on. Time of death. 15.45. What did he say to you? What did he have to tell me? There was no message for me. And whatever he wanted to say, he was saving for you. Chloe, this is completely brilliant. <laughs> oh, wait, you are on 5%. What? I will grab a charger. Oh, Hang on. thank you, thank you. Oh, sorry, sorry, I meant to, I meant to text. What's up? Uh, I'm going to skip my break. I'm on a roll here. I just want to keep going. Why not talk it through with me? Maybe I can help. I'm on pitching later. I don't think I'm going to have the time. I can meet you after, though. I've been drafted into a hemi-collector I'll be busy. Mm. Besides, are you sure today's... Are you really up to it? Well, memorized all of Jack's old notes, and you know I can recite my own research at my sleep. No, I mean, there's no one told you. Honestly, did no one say anything? I thought you had friends up here, your flatmates. I, I was going to, Chloe. Everybody knows, Chloe. You, Dom, Ange, all of it. I'm really sorry. Maybe just postpone it. No, I'm not, not, not going to. To spoil it, Jack has put me on the spot for a reason. I need to prove this is worth her time. Why didn't you say? <laughs> oh, this is un unbelievable. This must be very stressful for you. It's good to be taken seriously. To get some answers. I'm very sorry you had to come here to get the answers. I just want him seen, too. I don't care what it takes. Well, now, it must have been a very long day for you both. So, I got here. Ah. Yeah, you must be hungry. No, you'll make him sick. Uh, Oscar, no. I'm sorry, but you'll hurt him. It's OK. If he can keep that down, then we get a better sense of his condition. You're like them. You don't believe me. Well, there must be something wrong, otherwise he wouldn't have brought Oscar here to see me. This was a mistake. Of course it was a mistake. You wouldn't help your own son. Why would you help us? I am trying to help. Well, we don't want it. How could I ever think you'd be a good doctor when I see what a terrible parent you are? You don't know how to care, Henrik. You don't feel it. 